protecting, protecting them to a tree. Hello everybody, my name's Trina. I am a healer out of Australia, originally American, living here south of Sydney. Normally I don't get involved in these type of things. I try to keep my energy strong into the source, uh, but it's so beautiful. Whoever's put this together, what a bunch of beautiful, energetic angels out there all coming together. And it's our job as each light worker, it's our job to help the universe, the planet, the souls, everything that's energetically attached to all of us. Let's all take a deep breath in and relax. I've already done a prior meditation on this and I'm just going to briefly introduce who I am and then just try to help you relax and try to remember why you came to this earth to live and you already know this was going to happen and how we dealt through it and how we became strong. My name, as I said, was Trina Eliasson. I'm, I'm known for my health uh, resorts. I'm an energy healer. I also own uh, surgery companies, and I'm in the midst of a reopening a big wellness retreat. I'm a manifester. I'm a solutions healer. Um, intuitively, throughout 20 years of channeling, I've come to the source and learned and I share my ideas with others to get them strong so they're empowered. And each one of you watching this today, you are empowered. You know the answers. As I call it, the uh, library, uh, Ashkanic records. You all know what the answer is. You don't need us even if you just calm yourself. And what does that mean? Just send a prayer out saying, angels, help me be strong. Let me even release my ego. We need our ego. Definitely need it. Don't ever think you don't need your ego. It's just losing the attachment to the outcome. We need our egos to maintain a physical body in this world. It protects us. But when we come directly from our soul and we connect right to the source and we come back, you're so powerful. You know the answers. You're so strong. You don't need anybody but yourself and the source. So take a deep breath in. And slowly rock. And when you're bringing in that breath to the top of your head, see it connecting to the sky. I love going directly to the light. It could be the moon, it could be the sun, it could be the stars. Just see your energy lifting with each breath. Remember, we're radio magnetic. And with each thought and each energetic field we send out, we bring back. So if we come with a really light soul and a strength from the universe, calling out to all healers of the universe, every universe we ask for to come in and connect to you, to make you strong and to remember why you're here. We all hold the key to success. Our souls are so powerful, and when you turn them on, and you connect, and you bring that source down into you, you are a ball of fire. You don't have to be scared. I, I tell you now, this play of governments worldwide, as many of you know, that it's a play. It's like, the prelude to many to come in but if we stay strong and we keep our energetic field strong they can't hurt us no one can hurt you light is always stronger than dark so take a deep breath in and then let it out and you just feel it traveling through your head through your throat through your chest and into your belly and just feel your hands opening up Feel your hands. Feel your hands connecting to the energetic field, to the healers. Feel everybody grabbing onto each other's hands and holding. Feel my hands. Feel the heat and the strength come out to you as we connect to the source. 
You see yourself strong, you see yourself healthy, you see yourself being abundant in everything, your career, your love, your body, your life. Don't be fearful, my angels. This will soon pass, and we will learn that how strong we really are. We hold the strength of this universe. Now, deep breath in. And out. Feel the power. Feel the energy. Know you're one with the divine. Strong, we are all one. Never forget how powerful each one of you are. You don't have to be a star seed or a blu ray or an old soul. We all come into this world so perfect, and then we get damaged and we have baggage, and our bodies get sick. But at any moment, if you lift that vibration, your body self-heals. Your energetic fields send out abundance and strength. And you say, well, how do I get there if I'm so full of fear and I have no money and I'm sick right now? Here's one little baby step we'll start with today. Do you remember when you were little and you believed? I mean, when you really believed in miracles, when you believed in Santa or love, when you believed in all that magical abundance in the world, do you remember? Just take a deep breath in and go back to that small child you were and just go back into that mindset when you were so full of happiness and you anticipated and you saw that, you saw those gifts under the Christmas tree. And you saw when you wake up the next day, go back to that feeling when you were imagining and you never ever expected that because you knew it would be there. Go back to that feeling when it's so magical and the butterflies are in you and you can't sleep and you're so anticipated, but you're coming from magic. Go back to that feeling and hold that thought. And just feel it and see it. See the magic again. Believe from magic. You can only create abundance from magical thinking, high vibrational thinking. See your smile on your face. See you're happy and you're healthy. And you have the energy of a young child and the, the eyes of that magic coming through you again. Now, start putting your wishes out to the universe. Be those beautiful eyes and heart. Take a deep breath in and relax. I will try to come back again and visit. Have a beautiful day, beautiful life.